here's our third function transformation, and uh, it's a times f of x. So I'm taking f of x and I'm multiplying it by a. Now, by like when you start with a function, the a value is always just one because it's one times f of x. So that's sort of our starting position. Now, if I take a function and multiply it by a number, uh, let's say, let's say I take my periodic function. At the moment, the original function, this function here, is 10 sine x. Now, if I take 10 sine x and multiply it by a new number, put something out the front, that little dot means multiplied by. If I multiply it by the number 2, you can see it's stretching out what we call dilating. Okay, it's dilating around the x-axis. It's dilating around the x-axis. And that's an important point to note. It's, tr it's stretching around that that point here okay it's stretching around that point it stretches away from there and away from there evenly okay so that's really really what it does if i've got an a value between zero and one you can see it getting shorter see it compressing around the um, x-axis if a value is negative it flips and if a value is greater than 1, it's going to stretch out and also be flipped. Sorry, greater than negative 1. More magnitude than negative 1. It's going to stretch and flip. All right, let's formalize that. All right, so I've got f of x, and I'm going to create a new function called g of x. And that new function, g of x, is going to be equal to a times f of x. Now, if that's true, if a is greater than 1 like it currently is, it's going to dilate. And it's going to dilate by a factor of A. So what that means is that if we started here, and you can see that peak in the green one is at 10, if the A value is 2, that peak is going to be double that. That peak is going to be at 20. If the A value is 3, it's going to be 3 times that, 30. So it's going to dilate by a factor of whatever a is. Now, if a is between 0 and 1, so it's a decimal, like 0 0.5, it's going to compress. And again, it's going to compress by factor of a. So if uh, the peak was 10 and a is 0 0.5, I just can't quite get it there, but then it would be 5. At the moment, a is 0 0.4, so it's going to be 4. All right, if I go a between uh, negative 1 and 0, it's going to flip upside down and compress. And you can see it's flipped and it's compressed. And then if A is less than negative 1, like negative 5 or negative whatever, you can see it's going to flip and dilate. Alright, there's our formalized notes for A times F of X. Um, fairly intuitive. It's probably not as easy to draw as uh, the shifts up and down, left and right, but that's where we're at.